In the dark, cold forests of the north, something stirs. A people left untouched for centuries, a wealth seen like no other. These people roam the woods, hunting, building, trading, but most importantly, training. Training for the day when the others arrive. The Sturgeon Forest not only a home to the people of the same name, but also an abundance of resources and wealth, especially furs. Of course, the Sturgeons are well known for their furs, and this is no secret. As the empire expanded eastwards, more and more traders came from far and wide to sell and trade such valuables. Villages became towns and town cities. Alliances were made and enemies were vanquished to create new territory, taken from tribes that already lived there. As the people from the Nordlands came to settle, starting with just a collection of groups, the Sturgeons soon became an empire to hold the north on anyone that tries to take it from them. Raganvad, the Sturgeon Prince, is famed for his brutality, not letting anyone stand in his way and getting whatever he wants, taking it into his own hands if matters get bloody and doing whatever he can in his power to make them that way. Feared and somewhat respected, he rules the Sturgeon people with an iron fist in the hopes to push down south and expand the ever-growing Sturgeon Empire. He is known for his ability to punish, but lack of knowledge in how to reward, making him a fearsome leader. Yet the people under him may not always be so loyal, especially when coin is at hand. Unfortunately for the Sturgeons, there is very little known history about them in the game. Whilst they, yes, came from the Northlands, they aren't exactly the Viking type that many assume, mostly based on the federation of city-states known as the Kievan Rus, located in today's Russia, Belarus, and Ukraine. So really, they're more of a Slavic than Scandinavian peoples. But then, where did this style of armor and weaponry come from, similar to the Nords of old? Were the famous Varangian Norse left behind a lot when visiting Russia and made their mark on their art, arms, and of course, armor. Now this is a good indicator of where the Nordic style weapons, shields, and armor came from. And yes, of course, there are massive amounts of embellishment when it comes to the armor, especially using myth and legend combined with real history and a bit of fantasy to draw from as well, bringing together the Sturgeon prowess to life. Now you will find the Sturgeon forces are mostly made up of infantry. Whilst yes, they do have their own cavalry and archers, the foot soldiers are what give them their name across Calradia. Trained in formation fighting, shield walls and line marching, these are formidable warriors. They have better morale and discipline than most other forms of infantry throughout the game, so you'll rarely see these guys run from battle and often fight to the last man. Whilst the Sturgeons as a whole aren't really the Nordic tribes, they do have a few minor factions that could fill the gap for you. Skoldabuda are a mercenary brotherhood based on the Yorms Vikings of the Baltic. Whilst these fearsome warriors were possibly legendary, it goes that they were some of the best pagan fighters around the 10th and 11th centuries, fighting for whoever paid them good enough coin. And yes, this does mean even Christian lords that gave them the right payment, they could be seen fighting alongside. The Sons of the Forest and Battle Lord are another minor faction in the Sturgeon Empire. They're a semi-nomadic clan, known for keeping themselves to themselves deep in the depths of the woods. These are based on the Finnic tribes of old. Throughout Karadia, and especially the Sturgeon territory, you'll find many unique factions to make allies with, trade, and even make enemies, all with their own fighting styles and soldiers. But who will you join? The snow is cold, and the steel is even colder. A land of waste and icy deserts. Many can survive the north, but only few can thrive. Will this be your chance to prove yourself as the new Sturgeon Warlord? I know it's been a while. I did all the other Bannerlord lore videos before the release of the game, but I never actually got round to Sturgia. And then I sort of got caught up making actual videos for the game, and so many people have asked me, where is Sturgia? But here it is, at last. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Remember, there's still an amazing deal going on for the game at Games Planet using my link and the code LORD5. You can get yourself a bigger discount than any other store. So if you don't have Banner Lord yet, and it looks like your sort of thing, make sure you go and pick it up there. And of course, that helps support Tailwords, and a little bit goes to me as well. So you support the channel. 
So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you stay up to date with the channel as I'm going into more in-depth troop trees in my newer series. I started yesterday with the Empire, but I'm moving through each minor faction as well. So even the Empire is turning out to span across multiple videos. So we've got a lot of content coming. So go and check them out if you haven't already. But until then, I will see you in the next one.